not words. Uh, you know, the only thing I can tell you is it answered my question, Coach JT. We always ask, do you ever get tired of it? And I can tell you, you never, ever get tired of it. I can't wait to get back to work. I am, I am extremely humbled and I am extremely proud uh, to be part of the East Jefferson Warrior, Warrior family. And um, if you were in the Dome Saturday, the, my favorite part of our video, of our game video, is our kids running out uh, to start the game. And, and usually, you know, you've been to high school games, you run out, you get to the sideline. Well, our kids ran out and they kind of started stumbling over each other because our crowd was just incredible. And um, I'm very appreciative. And, and thank you, thank you so much. It's been a great, great year. Having grown up with Nick and watching him at Lakeshore Playground, I can absolutely second his notion about his football playing problems. <laughs> Just kidding, he's a wonderful friend and a great guy. Couldn't be happier for him. He's a terrific coach and it's a tremendous accomplishment for him, his football team, East Jefferson High School. We always have our state championship coaches say a few words you've heard from Nick. Next up, we have two others in the room today, and what a blessing that the New Orleans area had three state champions in this format that we have now, for better or for worse, with nine championships. I don't know what it'll be next year, but stay tuned. That said, the accomplishments are not diminished at all. Uh, they won the Division I state championship. He got it Rumble to their second straight state title as they beat Bird 23 to 22 for the Division I title. He's won 80% of his games over an illustrious 19-year career. That is Alma Potter. Here to say a few words on behalf of the quarterback club, of his football team, and their championship as well. Please welcome Coach Jay Roth. And Jay, the street's still alive. Right? I'm not a very superstitious guy. I don't wear yellow shoe tiger hats on the sidelines. <laughs> But Nick, remember this, anytime Kenny invites you to the uh, quarterback club for lunch, you better be there, okay? Because that's definitely where the luck's at. And uh, if Kenny invites me, I'm, I'm running over here. I want to congratulate the young men sitting here that won the awards today. You know, high school football in New Orleans is a special fellow. Something you're going to realize when you move on to college and as you grow old, that you'll always be intertwined with these players when somebody asks you what school you went to and what big game you played in and what championship you won. Uh, to this day, I'm 35, 40, 35 years from playing high school football. To this day, I run into people on the streets that I played ball against in high school, and it's still the top of our conversation. So, congratulations to y'all. Everybody, rest up because high school football is now over. And we'll crank it up again in January. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. And I know that right about now, I think uh, Ryan Desherry and Troy Holly are the happiest guys in America. They get a bunch of players and start helping their teams on the hardwood. And I know they'll be very good, both of those schools, as a result. And our final speaker today, what do you know? 26 state championships, 43 years as head coach, not too shabby. John Curtis defeated University High 32 to nothing for the Division II state championship in the Dome this past weekend. Of course, over 500 victories in his illustrious career, second most in the history of prep football in the United States. Please give a warm welcome to Coach J.T. Curtis and the John Curtis Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me thank the, uh, the, the sponsors that, that work so diligently to uh, give these young men the opportunity to compete and play. I uh, can't tell you how important I think it is for young people to learn to compete. Uh, we live in a society, unfortunately, where mediocrity appears to be the uh, saying of the day. And uh, for those that continue to work with these young people and give them a chance to compete, whether they win a championship or not, the ability to walk on the field and to compete every day uh, will help make them champions in the game of life, will help make our community a place that we can all be proud of. And so I'm proud to be a part of it. And I, uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here. I would be remiss not to say uh, to my friend Jimmy Keitel and Donald Bonowitz and uh, all of our guys that unfortunately lost in the uh, semifinals, uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, against Baton Rouge High School on a Friday night. Uh, I'll never forget it, but the friendship and the bonds that we made when we were in high school still exist today. And there's not much that I wouldn't do. Well, maybe there's some things I wouldn't do for Bonowitz, but... <laughs> 
there's not much that I wouldn't do for those guys because of the bond that, that we had uh, on the field. And then I'd also be remiss not to mention my head coach, Bob Whitman, who molded our lives, who made a difference in who we were. And I challenge every coach that's here today to make a difference in the lives of the young people that you come in touch, in touch with. So I want to thank you and tell you that I, I plan to uh, uh, do Friday Night Football one more year so I can keep Ed's job uh, secure at uh, <laughs> Thank you very much.